Woody's, the most trusted name in traction. Push, pull, darting, sliding, skidding, swapping, doesn't really matter what you call it. Keeping your sled pointed the direction that you want to go and staying in control is key to enjoying your snowmobiling experience. Due to the nature of snow and its ability to thaw and freeze rapidly means that we ride on ever-changing terrain each time we snowmobile, making our sport very unique and also requiring the right amount of knowledge and forethought to be prepared for whatever Mother Nature is going to throw at us. First, let's address darting and drifting, which is also known as push, two of the biggest concerns for riders when they're out on the trails. Darting is when your snowmobile gets stuck in the tracks of another snowmobile and either wants to stay locked in those or jump from track to track, making you feel less in control, while pushing is when the snowmobile feels as though it were drifting or pushing through a corner and not grabbing the snow and going around that corner. You've likely experienced one or both of these issues when you're out on the trail, and the reasoning is directly attributed to lack of contact with the snow or poor traction. Now, poor traction reduces the performance of your sled and also reduces your ability to keep it out of the rhubarb. So safety is a major concern when we talk about traction. When it comes to darting and drifting, reduced traction and control is often the result of a carbide runner that's either worn out or uses too little, or in some cases, too much carbide in the wrong places. While you may think single carbide runners are the only ones available, dual carbide runners incorporating two strips of carbide virtually eliminate darting and pushing issues across the board. The Woody Slim Jim Runner is the evolution of the Dually. It's machined out of one piece of material that's bent into a U-shape for each ski. It's 31% lighter than the original Dually and also features a more aggressive carbide profile that reduces darting while also keeps unsprung weight to a minimum and increases cornering control. Add to this the ease of a 10 minute installation and you can swap out your skags quite easily. Virtually eliminating push and darting, the Slim Jim runners stay out of other sleds tracks as they forge their own path through the snow and bite extra hard when cornering. This all adds up to more performance out of your snowmobile and increased rider comfort and confidence. Slim Jims are available for a wide variety of stock and aftermarket ski designs. So now that we're pointed in the right direction, we're going to stay on course and talk about studs and their function of acceleration and braking performance. Now studying your track is the other vital component in maximizing traction and control. The trick is knowing the balance between traction up front and traction in the rear. Too many studs in your track can result in drifting as an excessively studded track can overpower the traction of your carbides, increasing your turning radius. Conversely, too little studs in your track can result in oversteer and the rear of your sled sliding out and feeling loose in turns. A properly balanced sled will optimize your turning control of your snowmobile along with maximizing acceleration and braking performance, thereby helping you to stop sooner and get better grip in icy or dangerous conditions. When you're looking to maximize your traction and control, you need to start with a company like Woody's who has more than 40 years experience under their belt. Their website and catalog listings have application directories that not only take into account your specific snowmobile and suggestions for that sled, but also take into account your riding level and abilities. Studying a sled or installing carbides on your own can seem a little daunting if you've never done it before, but fear not. A visit to Woody's website will calm you right down and show you that you can do it if you're reasonably mechanically inclined. And hey, if you're not, that's what your local dealer's for. While we typically tend to blame poor handling characteristics on the snowmobile itself, this isn't always the case. And in a sport where the trail conditions can change every hour, you might want to take a closer look at the traction products on your sled.